So, uh, yeah, I told you I'd try and get some content where I try and assemble these. Just give you an idea of how it is, how easy it is. Uh, again, I was going to do that with my shatter point stuff, but, <clears throat> excuse me, ended up I'll just not being able to get around to it. Oh, hold on a second. Just moving this uh, microphone a little bit. So, uh, yeah, we're going to do a little bit of assembly today, see how it works. Uh, so you can kind of get an idea. I don't know if I'll get it all on there. Maybe I, maybe, maybe I'll make one long video. Uh, I won't be all tonight, but you know, I'll splice it all together over time. Uh, maybe I won't. We'll see. Uh, so yeah, let me, let me first of all zoom in here a little bit closer so you can actually see what's going on. So tonight we're going to do the, uh, the heroic warriors, the masters, right? And we have the assembly instructions actually come with the game. So that's pretty cool. A lot aren't doing that anymore. They're pushing it online. You know, I'm going to save He-Man for maybe not the first, right? I don't think he'll do him first because if I screw up, I don't want to screw up on He-Man. So let's start with Stratos because, you know, it's Stratos. <laughs> don't get me wrong. I like Stratos. He's, he's a cool figure. But uh, again, we'll see how this goes on camera. Oh, excuse me. I had salmon for lunch. And, oh, my gosh. Uh, oh, burping something wicked. No, you don't. You probably don't care. You're like, I don't need to know that. What are you doing, dude? Shut up. <laughs> but, oh, nasty. So, where are we here? We are on. You start with D1. No, you start with D7, D11, D. Huh. That always kind of throws me a little bit. Why would you start with seven? Whatever. Whatever. What do I know? Uh, again, I don't do a lot of this. Shatterpoint has really been not my first foray into it, but pretty close. Are they anywhere near each other at all? Where are they? D9, D8. Okay, this is one thing I already don't like too much about this. Uh, when I'm doing Shatterpoint, it's one sprue per character. Is it one sprue per character? No, maybe not. But uh, <clears throat> it's a little easier. Yeah, it's not one sprue per character, but it's all kind of... Um, like all of Ram Man would be right here. Okay, maybe it saves the money printing it this way. Probably does, but it's annoying. So, let's see what have we got going on here. So, the first thing we're going to look for, we're going to look for D7 and D11. Yeah, that makes that makes sense. Okay. So, where is it? There's the E's. There's the 10s. Oh, there's 11. All right, so D7 and D11, that's what we want. Better if I stop bumping the camera here. That still looks like a heavy duty. Hopefully the glue I have works on this. Maybe I should uh, read the instructions, see if they specify any specific type of glue. I don't, no, they don't. I don't like to use um, like a super glue. Again, I don't know about you guys. Uh, I don't like to use a super glue. I like, I use this stuff. Ooh, this stuff right here. It, uh, it basically melts the plastic together. Okay, so D11. It's going to be a long video. I'm going to be speeding this up a lot, aren't I? D8. Oh my freaking word. Well, that's why. Made in Poland. I'm picking on you Polish people. Like this is this is thicker than a typical sprue. I'm telling you, these it's heavy duty, so I'll give them that. Ah, D7. Oh, here we go. There we go, D7. One thing I'm not is I don't file. Oh, D7. Yeah, that's D7. How does it say to put that? Okay. I guess. Yeah, this is completely different than American ones. Like other ones I've done, 
it would have like a piece that fits into that hole right there this doesn't have it. so that's what i'm looking for i'm looking but that just doesn't have it oh this is gonna be weird it's gonna be very weird <clears throat> yeah this might be the most boring video i've ever done so i don't know if you really want to watch this or not <coughs> also assembling under camera i don't know how people do this on a regular basis i guess you just got to get your camera set up exactly how you want it Again, hopefully this glue works on this. Hopefully it's the same type of plastic that I'm used to. This is the tedious part. You're just kind of brushing and brushing. Okay. One thing you do have to be careful with this type of glue that I ran into a, a lot when I was first doing my shadow point, guys, was since it melts the plastic, if you get it on your finger, you like hold it against like a detailed part mm, yeah you're melting the plastic sorry actually can i zoom in even more what does that look like yeah we could do that it's probably better for you all okay so that was d7 d11 <clears throat> number two we want d9 which i saw that over here somewhere a moment ago d9 so you have an arrow so you have these arrows that point to it and the arrow keeps it way off I'm like, D91? What? No. Oh. Okay. I don't know if these people like to do a little bit of this first. Be like, okay, how does this go? And then we'll get the picture here so we can kind of see. Or you can't see it, but I've got the picture here. He's kind of hunched over. Okay, I get it. Then we're going to put the uh, cement there. Gonna hold that. I think this was supposed to be a clear piece for Orca, but I'm not seeing it. My fingers are sticking to that, which means it's working. It's staying where it's supposed to, so that's good. Okay, now we need D4. D4. I feel like I'm waiting for somebody to yell bingo. to fit it before I glue it. Just to double check, make sure I'm putting it in the right place. Yes, it's clearly the right place. Ah, sure. See the The problem with it acting as sort of like a melting the plastic it also kind of acts as a solvent on itself but yeah this is why i started with stratos because if i screw up stratos don't get me wrong i like stratos but if i screw them up <clears throat> i'm not going to be heartbroken let's put it that way so already this guy's looking like okay could have used a little bit of a uh, filing or something like that because yeah you can see that gap there which is not going to drive me nuts but i do kind of want to wait that to dry a little bit. Yeah, give it a little blow. Mm. Yeah. Maybe we'll just get through Stratos tonight. Why not have time to do everybody? Do you have any D12 and D10? Uh, which one do I do first now? All right, I'll still do D12 first. Again, it's totally the opposite of what I'm used to. But again, I don't do a lot of these. Is that normal? Oh, yeah, that's better. 
to figure out how it fits. That's very helpful. There you go, little goober. You want to give that a little a blow on that? Make it dry? There we go. We got a little goober helper blowing on it. Make it dry. Good job. Good job, kid. All right, I'll be right back. All right, where was I here? D10. Thing with this stuff is you have to let it dry for a little bit. You start trying to mash too many parts together and it uh doesn't go well. So I have to say I've been very, very spoiled by Shatterpoint. Because Shatterpoint usually has like a male, female end. Tells you exactly where to put stuff. This is a little bit different. Okay, you can match it up eventually, but it just speeds it up so much. So that'd be my little. But again, you know, maybe in the European gaming type of thing, because this this is made in Poland. Maybe in European gaming, this is very normal. There's a very um, you know, the way it's supposed to be. But for me, who's not a super big gamer when it comes to assembling stuff, uh, I find the shatter point to be just a little bit easier in that sense. Except for the battle droids. The battle droids suck. They're a total pain to assemble. There we go. Does blowing on it do anything? Eh, probably not. That makes me feel good. So... Next we're gonna do D2 and 3. Those should be easy to find because those are his wings. Now the real question is, do I paint all these guys in excuse me, typical fashion? Or should I go for the mini comics colors? Because then Stratos would not be gray and blue. Uh, gray, blue, and red. You'd have like that fleshy color. I'm not gonna do that, that's ugly. The only one I would maybe consider going with comic book colors would be Trap Jaw. Yeah, the green Trap Jaw, that'd be kind of sick. I'd like to see somebody do that using uh, mini comic colors. <clears throat> so, what is going on here? Again, I'm off the camera. Joint and fitment on. Well, I don't stop talking about it on the shadow points. It's just uh, it lets you know exactly where you're supposed to be. So now I'm spoiled. Yeah, these are not bad. I'm just spoiled on those. That's all. I don't think I'm gonna get through this whole sprue tonight. So when you guys sit down and do this, how uh? You do a whole sprue at once. And this seems like a lot. It'd probably take me like an hour to do all this. And that's not bad, probably. But I'm a busy guy. I got stuff to do. Lots of stuff to do. And while I, while I like making it as a video, it makes it take that much longer because I'm talking and I'm thinking about it. But here we go. We're getting there. Yeah, maybe I'll speed this video up. I don't know. I've assembled some Warhammer, I've assembled a bunch of Shatterpoint, and none of them are that thick. Alright, okay. 
hopefully it doesn't melt this particular plastic as quickly. something. Should I file some of that stuff? Probably. Am I going to? No. I'm not going to. Because I'm lazy like that. And finally his head. I feel like Stratos is probably the good place to start because he looks like he was easier to assemble than He-Man. Uh, looks like fewer parts. Oh, need his head and then his rocket pack. I almost forgot about his rocket How could I forget about his rocket pack? Come on, kid. You're killing me. Yeah, drop that. I'm always afraid it's gonna like bounce and end up on the floor somewhere and I'll never see it again. Why? Because that has happened. You saw some of my Shatterpoint figures, right? I lost like an arm, lost a couple heads. Because they're their sprues like one thing I'll say is the stuff was falling off a lot easier. Like these none of these are loose. Shatterpoint sprues, stuff was loose and like I accidentally bumped it, it fell off and disappeared into the great void. This is the tough part. I think we can get that to stay on there. But I guess that's what the glue is for, isn't it? Not to harp on this too much, but the Shatterpoint heads, whoop, male, female, right in there. I like that a lot better. But I think they get away with that because the uh, the scale is also a little larger. I think these are 32 millimeter. The strato, or the, uh, the battleground scale. 32 millimeter and Star Wars Shatterpoint. I want to say that's okay. I should have put this on a little earlier. Those wings are in the way. I'm just saying, that should have been like the second thing that went on there. Before you get his arms on, I would advise putting this on. This, the instructions were just wrong on that. Oh, and that's upside down. Good job. Oh, I missed uh, that over there. And the thing is also, oh, see? Look at the great void. Almost under the bed.
go. And there we go. Oops. That is our first Master Universe Battleground Mini assembled. Am I going to do a video for each one? Yeah, I don't know. I really don't know because it could take a while. All right, so I got them all complete. I found it was so much easier to do off camera. Sorry, I'll, I'll try and get better at doing these on camera because I, I think it, you know, you guys probably, maybe you like seeing that, maybe you don't, I don't know. Um, let me get this out of the way. But essentially, so should I zoom in? Um, Stratos came out pretty well. I think I already showed you that. Uh, I should, you know, as I mentioned, I don't, you know, I'm not one that sits there in files and stuff like that, uh, but I probably should. Um, you know, maybe sand off a couple of those spots, things like that. Uh, I'm trying to think which one was my least favorite to assemble. I know my favorite to assemble, surprisingly, was actually Ram Man. Uh, the reason he was my favorite to assemble is he's a very chonky boy. <laughs> So all his pieces were uh, big and bulky, and you know, my big hands were able to get in there and uh, assemble them well. And look at the detail there. They've even got you know the chain going in the right direction. They did a good job on these, honestly. Because I'm so used, I feel like Shatterpoint figures really kind of spoiled me. And you've probably heard you heard that a couple times throughout the video. Uh, the Shatterpoint figures really spoil me because <clears throat> it's very clear for the most part, not always, but it's usually pretty clear where the where the figures go. So Ram Man. Probably my favorite to assemble. Uh, Trapjaw. Trapjaw was fun. He was easy. You know, look at the smashed ground they got there. Oh, trying to think. Least favorite, least favorite. It might have been Merman. But honestly, no, I think, I think it was Evil Lynn. Evil Lynn was my least favorite to assemble because she's, you know, a little smaller. You know, the pieces are a little spindly. You can kind of see there in the hand. I might have... Might have cut that incorrectly. I mean, the transition isn't bad. I'm just being picky, but yeah, yeah. Skeletor came out well. Uh, I've heard you know a lot of folks have trouble with putting his shoulder pieces on because these are separate pieces. You have to put those on there, and I'm sitting there going, really, really, those are separate pieces that I have to put on. That's kind of ridiculous. But overall, Skeletor was pretty easy to do. I think I had the the toughest part with was a lot of these pieces where they just getting them into the right spot on the on the po on the um on the base right because those toes those toes aren't actually on the piece they're on the base so you, you kind of want to make sure that lined up well but uh yeah everything everything went together well and of course where's where's he man uh everything went together well in the long run i feel like they all come out well i will eventually get around to painting these i gotta do my shatter point first i just can't and for some reason i really want to paint the terrain on this more than i want to paint the figures figures probably because the terrain's easier for me uh the other thing orco has this clear base and you really it, it, it's hidden in the uh in the box so in the box it's in the uh <clears throat> in with the dice and stuff but yeah overall again really liked assembling all of them it was really fun i can't wait uh, to actually play i've started reading the rules hopefully next weekend i can get a game you know a couple games in with one of the kids or something uh, i'm going to try and take this to my game store my local game store see if i can build up some uh some demand for it but again, it's all about the time and the money. This, I mean, <laughs> it was, uh, we had this, we had the big snowstorm this past week up here in New Hampshire, where I am. And, uh, you know, knocked out power, all kinds of places. Not, we, we surprisingly didn't lose power, but I did lose a duck house. Uh, that was kind of a bummer. Uh, tree fell right on it. Thankfully, didn't fall on the kids, so that was good. The kids were out of the way by that point, and the tree fell. So uh, someone upstairs is watching out for us there. Uh, so that was good. But, yeah, overall, these are cool. Uh, I wonder if anybody... 
there's a gaming convention coming up in in the state uh, mayhem gaming convention i've never been i was thinking of going to and you know maybe people will be playing there i think it's like april 19th 20th something like that so <coughs> maybe people will uh, be playing there i don't know but again just wanted to show you all the pieces i think that is all the pieces i've shown you uh i think they're pretty cool i'm excited to play the game and for those of you who that, that have played how do you like it uh what are you most looking forward to i mean i feel like eventually they're going to kind of run out of characters so i don't know what they're going to do there but i'd like to see a couple more maps but you know again they can they can slow it down because i've only got so much money but yeah again thanks for watching hope you enjoyed it i want to throw this little piece on the end after i got the rest of these put together and hopefully painting will come eventually next thing i'm going to do is i'm going to I'm going to get into the terrain. Uh, yeah, I really want to get that painted. But again, thanks for joining and see ya.